Hey guys, El Flamingo here, your coach of the Forex Attack. Today we have week six of the UGA. Um, we're up against Snom and the Texas Tornadus. So we'll run through his team first and then we'll go through what I've come up with. So he's got a uh, very threatening team, um, to say the least. So he has the Marowak, he has uh, Tangrowth, Mamoswine. Vaporeon, Zapdos, Cresselia, Tapu Lele, um, and what's that called? Sock, uh, Archaeops, the Scolipede, and the Shirinja. So who do I think he's going to bring? At the moment, his main carries are the Mamoswine, um, I think the Zapdos, and the um, and the Sork. So. I don't think Sork's coming because it doesn't do very well into my team other than being uh, coaching support, which is in and of itself really handy. Um, so I think he's going to bring the Marowak because it does quite well in Trick Room, which I have set up a few times. Um, and it hits both uh, Selly and Dragapult really hard. Um, it probably wins one-on-one -on -one versus Selly. Um, and, you know, depending on the Pult spread, um, it could also beat the Dragapult. Um, so I, th I definitely think that's coming. It's got some annoying moves to worry about, like Burning Jealousy, Will-O-Wisp, Ally Switch, and uh, Perish Song. So those are something I'm going to have to worry about with my team, and I think I've covered it. Um, I can see the Tangrowth coming uh, for the Redirection. also hits the Mudsdale hard. Um, it has annoying moves like Sleep Powder, um, Rage Powder, and Knock Off, which could be very annoying for my team. Um... Mamoswine I could see coming because it is his kill leader at the moment. Um, generally it beats Dragapult um, and it loses to Selly though. Um, and I think it will also lose to a Stamina uh, Mudsdale. Hint, hint, that may be what I'm bringing today. Um, he has the Vaporeon, uh, which I think is probably his best attacker into the Mudsdale. Um, has annoying moves like Skull, Baby Doll Eyes and Yawn. Um, so I can see this coming. Uh, the Zapdos I can see coming. It, it beats the Celesteela, um, but loses to my Mudsdale. And uh, it's kind of indifferent to the Pult. I think the Pult probably wins out on the end. Um, and it gets annoying moves like Eerie Impulse. And lastly, I think the Cresselia could come as a way to reverse TR or set Trick Room for the Marowak. And um, it has access to annoying moves like Ally Switch, uh, Skill Swap, and Trick Room. But in saying that the Tapu Lele could come, um, you know, it does have that fairy typing, so it can hit the Dragapult quite hard, um, but loses to the Celesteela and the um, Mudsdale generally, um, but also stops Morgrim from doing any of its fake tears rubbish. Um, like I said, I think, uh, like, coaching Sork, coaching fighting type with a Scarf is always an option, um, but I'm not 100% sure if I think that's coming this week. Um... He has the Archaeops, which, you know, has 140 base attack, but it generally loses to my uh, three main um, uh, physical attack, uh, three main attackers being the Selly, the Dragapult, and the Mudsdale. So I don't see the Archaeops coming. Um, and the, um, what's this one called? Scolipede. Scolipede is, again, weak to my three main attackers and doesn't really sub uh, provide great support. Um, but it could do speed boost plus bat, bat and pass stuff with some speed control. But maybe, but probably most likely not just because I, I do, um, I can set up Trick Room quite well. Um, and then he's also got the Shit Ninja. It, it dies to pretty much everything. Um, I think everything on my team has, or most things have a super effective attack for it. Um, at least five that I can think of, so, you know, it's not going to be doing a whole lot, but it has got things like Will-O-Wisp and Ally Switch, so we could Ally Switch into something, um, like a Steel Move into the, um, Tapu Lele, and be able to, um, live that easily. Um, so that's, that's his team. Let's go to my team now. So this is what I'm bringing. I'm bringing, um, Mudsdale. Um, he has two not-so-great stab attacks into it, being the Tangrowth and the Vaporeon. But Mamo Swine does hit it quite hard. So I'm rocking the Assault Vest with Stamina. So I want to get some defense boost. Uh, 220 HP, 180 attack, 108 defense. Uh, the 108 defense just lets me um, 
turns two hit KOs into three hit KOs from the uh, Marowak. Um, Brave Nature with eight speed, that underspeeds the uh, Schillinger. Um, I don't need any more because that way if I get some airstreams up next to it, um, it's going to be able to go you know, a bit faster. Out, out speed is slow mons. Uh, running body press, so when I get those defense boosts, I can do some big body press damage, rock slide, earthquake, and heavy slam. Um, I'm rocking the earthquake this week because I have uh, protect on my two non on my on two of my non-flying types, um, but then I'm also running telepathy on the Mashana, so I'm not going to be able to hit that with my earthquake. So earthquake's quite a good spread move this week. Um, running the um, Morgrim with the Eviolite, 244 HP, 148 defense, 116 special defense with a calm nature. Foul play, reflect, light screen, and fake out. Foul play does big damage into that um, uh, Marowak, um, and I can set up the reflect and light screen just to get a bit of damage reduction. Um, next uh, one is Dragapult. Dragapult's probably the one I'm not going to bring, but there's a chance that I'm going to bring it. Um, rocking the X Belt Belt. He has to respect Dragapult because he has no ghost resists. Um, so I'm rocking the Adamant Nature with 140 speed. This lets me outspeed everything on his on his team. Um, for special defense, I've just ch chucked it all in defense because that just lets me, if I get a uh, max steel spike off, it lets me live attacks from the Marowak and the um, Aura reflect off uh, uh, and the Mammoth Swine and the Marowak a bit better. Um, so Steel Wing to hit the Mammoth Swine, Phantom Force for big stab ghost damage, and then Fly to get some speed control. Next we have um, the Volcarona, uh, good for re redirection and some stat control. Um, running the Modest Nature with 220 speed lets me outspeed a max speed uh, Mammoth Swine with Protect, Mystical Fire, Will-O-Wisp and Rage Powder. Um, Will-O-Wisp is just a, a good first turn option if, um, if need be, but Mystical Fire also chonks the Tangrowth if that's something I'm worried about. Uh, we have Bulky Weakness Policy Celesteela. This can survive uh, max, it's, when it's max, can survive max flares and max lightnings from uh, Zapdos and the Marowak quite well. Um, and the rest dumped into special attack. Um, running Protect, Air Slash, Flash Cannon and Meteor Beam because Rock is also really good into his team and helps me hit that Marowak and the Zapdos. Uh, lastly, we have um, Support Mashana with the Kasib Berry. This lets me live... Um, Max Ghost from Marowak, but also lets me live, I think, a Mega Horn from the Scolipede. That didn't take too much extra investment to get there. Um, so mainly to set TR, also Helping Hand just to get a bit more damage off my uh, main three attackers here. Um, safeguard to stop burns, potentially from that Marowak, but also from uh, Sleep Powders from the Tangrowth. And then um, trick Room, of course, and Shadow Ball because it's unresisted across his team. So I'm going to get in contact with my man, Snom, and we will be back shortly. All right, we are back. So, ooh, he's got some interesting stuff here. So he's got the Vaporeon. Um, he hasn't got the Marowak. He's got the Tangrowth. He's got the Mamoswine. He's got the Vaporeon. He hasn't got the Cresselia. So Trick Room's looking better here. He hasn't got the... Lele or the Sork. He brought the, uh, what's it called? The Archaeops and the Scolipede, but not the Shedinja. Okay, I think we just go the Trick Room route. Hey, if we go, um, I think Morgrim would be good. And then uh, Mushana. And then in the back, we'll bring uh, Mudsdale and the Celesteela. I think that's going to be our go. Waiting, waiting, waiting. So I'm going to Morgrim so I can bake out the Tangrowth, get off the Trick Room, and not get sleep powdered. Oh, come on. Yep. Okay, it'll be interesting to see what he goes.
So it's good to not see the Marowak. That is scary. Mamoswine Archaeops. I'm okay with this. Shana Morgra. So I think I will... Yeah, I think I fake out the Archaeops and I set the Trick Room. It's a very passive lead, passive lead for me. But it could pay off getting up the Trick Room, getting some speed control. Um, I know the, I'm pretty sure the Mammoth Sliding doesn't have Taunt. First turn max. No. These don't max the Archaeops. Cool. No Archaeops gets Taunt. Cool. Alright, so my, um... Mushana should be able to take this quite, uh, should be able to take an attack quite well. Get the fake out off. Max Canoogle. Hmm. Interdasting. I think we just set up a Reflect. I think I just Foul Play, actually. Why don't I just Foul Play into this guy and Shadow Ball into this guy. If I can get the Archaeops below 50%, we're good. Foul play with Stab and Mamoswine's plus one attack should be fairly nice. This is 107 base special attack. Oh, that does nothing. I swear that must be AV. That's nice though. That's nicer. Max Canoogle. Cool. You can get a KO. That would be nice. Rock slide maybe. U turn. Vaporeon. I think I think I still foul play. I think I just double into this mammoth swine. Why would I not? even if I run out of max turns, like, what's he going to be able to do to Celesteela or the um, Mudsdale? So we re did a really good job of, like, we did well to um, waste his max turns, but at the same time, like, he hasn't... Oh. Something's getting chomped. That does. Guessing like a muddy water's coming out. Miss something? Mushana. Awesome. Okay. That's alright. So out comes my Mudsdale. What's he got in the back? Archaeops. I think we just help in hand. Max Rock Fall and uh, Helping Hand. I think that's pretty nice. No reason for safeguard. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting.
Now let's see how well he stalls out. So I should have gone Max Quake there, but I was predicting a potential switch in for the, um, oh, what's it called? Um, Archaeops. Helping hands nice. Do we see a protect? Baby doll eyes. I was worried about the baby doll eyes. Fuck. Alright. I'm going to take out the uh, Zapdos next turn just because I do not want to worry about a. Um, uh, I want my Celesteela to be able to do well in the late game. Thunderbolt. Okay. That's alright. I think he did really well here. And Citrus Berry. Okay, we got Baby Doll. So he may take this out actually. He's done really well. Baby Doll Eyes. Um. I think I uh, rock fall into the Zapdos and I air slash into the Vaporeon. That's citrus. Good move. Fuck. U turn. Let's go max rock four here and let's just protect. Then I've got body press as well, so that's very handy. Let's protect. And Thunderbolt. Come on, get the KO. Cool. Come on, get the KO. At least sand in, in range of sand. At least in range of sand. Yes. Cool. Oh, that was super stressful. Okay, um, I should be able to uh, finish this out with my um, <sighs> Celesteela. You know, that has Protect. I'm guessing a um, Heat Wave or something is coming here. So I'm just going to uh, body press here and flash cannon here. Ooh wee, this is a very close match. I build my ones too bulky that they don't get knocked out. Hopefully the AV can really help my Mudsdale out. Going for the flinch hacks. Stamina, so more on body press now. Muddy water, going for accuracy drops. This is annoying. Still big damage. Stamina, this is a plus two body press. Ah, oh, fuck this game. Fuck it. Like, what's the point? That's horse shit. Like, there's no, mm, nothing I can do now. Like, there's uh, like fucking devil flinch. He doesn't even get a miss. Doesn't even get a miss. Doesn't even get a miss. 
That was fucked. That was fucked. Fuck this game. Oh. What are you meant to do? Oh. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. Like, what are you meant to do? Muddy water. What are you meant to do? God damn it. God damn it. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to lead them. I'm going to do the same thing. Morgrim Mashana. Because if I don't do the Morgrim, um, Rock Slide has a potential to flinch. Oh. Um, we'll go Mudsdale still. So I need to get a Max Quake boost off somewhere. Um, and final one is... Like, I th I, I've got to stick with the same thing. Like, that was just a bullshit loss. Okay, we're not sure what item Vaporeon has. Don't remember seeing an item on Mamoswine. Oh, that was such codwallop. Ugh. U turn rock slide. Like, I wasn't even in a bad position. Ugh. Mm. Um. I think I might just need to max the um, Celesteela. That might be the go. Pangrove Mamoswine. This is fine. So we will uh, we'll stick to the same. Let's uh, fake out the Tangrowth and we will uh, Trick Room. The other thing I could see here is maybe a Ice Shard into a Weakness Policy Tangrowth. That would be pretty cold. I don't mind losing to that, but losing to double rock slide flinch like that, oh. That is very aggravating. He's going for the flinch again. He's going for the flinch. Thank you. Oh, I've just got a of that. Stuff that. Um, so let's go reflect and we will um, safeguard. I think that's pretty good. Sleep Powder is a pretty good option from him right now. Okay, let's um, not Dynamax. We'll keep you for later. Let's bring in Selly and let's fire off a uh, Shadow Ball. 
Um, let's go into the Mammoth Swine and hopefully he redirects it. Bring the Morgan back in now. Let's get a max steel spike off here and a fake out into here. That seems nice. Had taunt on the Morgrim now. Guessing it's going to knock off my. I know, I'm going to take out. Oh, cool, that's fine. Room of left. Uh, let's go info. Last turn of trick room. Okay. So let's go uh, max airstream into Tangrowth and we'll set up a light screen. He's re doing really well predicting my switches. Do you want Big Bay Porion? Big Bay Porion. How interesting. Interesting indeed. Indubitably. Rage powder, that's fine. Light screen, thank you very much. Cobra berry. Oh, this just gets more annoying and more annoying. Okay, cool. Protect. Knock and um, rage. That's all we've got. And Cobra. So now I've got a special attack boost. This is looking good. Next Geyser into Morgrim. Thank you. Oh, that's real nice. I'm guessing Thunders are coming out now. I'm going to fire off a um, Max Rock Fall. Archaeops. Ah, huh. no I'm not. Max Steel Spike. Why would I? Where do we go Max Rockfall? I think we go Max Rockfall this turn to change the weather. Wait, is this my last... How many turns of Max have I had? Um, one Airstream, one Steel Spike. I think we go for the uh, Steel Spike and the uh, Foul Play. 
and we'll double into the Archaeops. Just in case there's a sash. Does nothing. Foul play. Does something. Almost gets a KO. Should have got an airstream, maybe. Okay. We've got some defense boosted dudes. And I've got two special attack boosts. Beast boost. Max Geyser into. I don't think the Max Vaporeon was right. Morgrim. Oh, yes. Yes. We'll reflect War off. That's okay. So we're plus two, plus one speed, plus two defense. So let's protect. And let's just set up a reflect. Last turn. I'm guessing an ice shard's coming out here into the Morgrim. Reflect, cool. Good. Max Geyser. Alright, we stalled out his max. Oh. And he's let me stay here. That was a crit. Let's go uh, flash cannon. And uh no, let's go, like, this is now the threat. Let's go F, S slash, and uh, foul play into the Vaporeon. Good. That was a crit. Air slash. Plus two. Awesome. Ugh. Plus three. What's he going for? Selly. Okay. Flash cannon against the Mamo Swine and foul play against the Mamo Swine. Oh. We got his bicycle crash out of here. And you get to kill on Morgrim. We got game two. Oh. Okay. Do I change it up? What was his late game there? Late game was that damn... I think we go the same thing, but I think we actually bring Dragapult in the back. But that just sucks against the... So he's got to bring the Zapdos back, but what did he get rid of? I think the Archaeops is pretty... Um, is not that good here. I think we stick with the Morgrim. And the Mushana. Do we go Mudsdale? I think we gotta go Selly. I think we just stick with Mudsdale, because he's gotta bring that um, Zapdos. I think we stick with that. I think we just stick with the same four. That game, first game was just, that was dumb. But if I can get the Max Airstream off on last turn of a um, of Trick Room, that we'll be laughing. Ooh, just waiting, waiting, waiting. 35 more seconds. Cool. 
Cool. And my daughter is asleep. Let's hope it stays that way. Nice. Okay. Last one. Zephthos stole it. Is it? Take out the Scolipede Trick Room. But surely you wouldn't max the Scolipede, right? This should KO. Next Flutterboy. Yep, okay. So what do I have to do here? Um, I think I bring out the... Um, what's a Jigger anyway? The Seller Stealer. Fire off the light screen, go for a max airstream into the Whirlipede. Light screen and Dynamax, max airstream into the Scolipede. Seems like the best option. Could see a big max poison coming out here to get the Zapdos to plus one. Um, I still don't think that's enough. Silly. 50, I know, Zapdos. Blank set, level 50. And it is, uh, let's say, 252. Modest. Go plus one. Thunderbolt. Dynamax. That's a lot. Oh, but we've got light screen up. Yep. And we live. Live to fight another day. Activates our weakness policy. Down, plus one speed. It's at 252. Go max rockfall onto that Zapdos. I think that's fine. Is it going to be able to take a plus three max rockfall even through a protect? Plenty good. Plenty good. Can we get a muddy water miss? You know, you gave me two flinches last time. No, 
course not. You could never do that, could you? <sighs> oh, and you gave me an accuracy drop. Oh my god. This is just fucking insane. Mudsdale. Best move at the moment. Probably the body press. I think we stick with this. I think we stick with the max rock fall. Oh god. What's the point? What is the point? Like, god damn it. What is the point? Like, <laughs> why? 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 Uh, like what's the point of playing this game if shit like that happens? This is horse shit. Go body press over here. Let's go for the protect. Feel sorry for Jaden now. Hopefully, the plus one defense counts for something. Two body press has to do something. Please don't be sash. Please don't be sash. Please don't. Ah. Oh. Can you get a miss? Can you get a miss? Can he get a miss? Can you 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 get a miss? Come on. That Zapdos should have been dead. Get a miss? Get a miss? Get a miss? Fuck it, I'm out. See you guys. That was horse fucking shit.